the show to me it means a lot because beneath all the fun and the wittiness the brightness of hairspray itself there is an underlying message and and it's conveyed in a lot of ways that that are unique they're very unique and it's kind of eye-opening what you get out of the final product of the show I hope that it will make the audience think. I hope that it will make them really examine the way that they look at people and the projections that they throw on them before they even meet them. You know, it doesn't have to be race, it doesn't have to be size, it can be anything. Not only did it happen in the 60s, but you know, that we have today that is such an awful thing, there is hope to change it. I hope in the end when they leave that they take a second to think about themselves as a person or the things they say or do when they meet someone who's different from them, uh, the first judgments they make without even speaking to the person. I hope they think about that when they leave. It's time. coming together, meeting new people, you know, with different backgrounds than you, um, and, and, you know, coming together on the stage and, and finding common ground and forgetting about the differences, you know, physically, personally, and, and you know, building off that and, and doing what you love to do, which is act, sing, and dance. It's never going to be a thing that will just go away and that won't be remembered or you will forget about it. It's always going to be a lie. Um, there's segregation going on today with things going on in the news in different towns, schools, libraries, churches. It's everywhere. And so I just feel like segregation is an issue that will continue to be talked about, continue to be discussed, and will forever be here, forever present in our lives. I just really hope that I hope we fix it someday. All the kids who grow up just like me, but society tells them that something is different about them <laughs> that separates them from the rest of the community. Motormouth is really, really interesting. Um, she says things without directly saying them. Uh, and she's fun so she takes like the seriousness of life and still finds joy uh, within everything that's going on Segregation is more than just blacks and whites. It's more than just like color. 
segregation is religion segregation is sexuality and for us to have to fight to be who we are and to be separated because we're different is very wrong and it's it's hard to see other people have to struggle and have to fight for what they believe is right and for one person to say it's wrong and shut them down from a lot of opportunity is it's not okay and segregation is just off There's a house built out of stone. One time I went to breakfast with my family and we were waiting to get seated and the guy was seating other people of another race before us. And so we just got up and left because we felt that we were, I mean, less than them. You know? I was like one of the only black girls and I just remember always having an identity crisis thinking like, am I doing this too white? Am I doing this too black? Like I would always think that. And I had a group of white friends and they would always pick on me. They gave me like the most trouble ever and they would always bully me and pick on me. And it was like the smallest things and I really feel like it was just because I was different. I have been called the N word before. I remember when I was what, 12 years old, and I was in the car, my parents, basically my whole family was coming back from something from out of town. And we were pulled over in our own um, subdivision, about to um, turn inside our house, and a cop pulled us over, and she, he said, you just look suspicious, that's why we pulled you over. And my dad got so angry, and the cop told him to step out the car, and my dad said no because you have no actual reason. We are putting on stage something that is very palatable and disguised in all these songs, but what are we talking about? We have cross-dressing up there. We're talking about real racial issues. We're talking about body image in all a kind of candy-coated way. But what we're speaking about, what we're presenting, are some really heavy things. But I think that this show will teach us to, to, to not forget and to always grow and to always be positive and to um, learn from each other. Everyone's equal. There's no level or standard to skin color. Like everybody's on the same plane. Break down walls and take chances and create. It's still, you know, kind of, it's, it's there. It's kind of the elephant in the room uh, these days. We just need to start teaching our next generation, don't be that person to say, oh, this black person or this white person, don't do that. I want us to teach our next generation, it's okay to be who you are. It takes more than a couple people for change, everybody has to instill change. How different races can just come together and create a masterpiece. But I think wonderful collaborations such as ours, uh, it's like a beacon of hope. It's like a light. You can't stop the beat. You can't stop progression. You can't stop the world from moving round and round, going forward. But yes, I want the audience to get that message and understand that they came together for a reason and we're going to keep moving forward and that this is what's happening now. To blow me down Held on as tightly as you have I really don't understand the concept of racism or segregation or anything 
because at the end of the day we're all human beings and we were created the same just because your skin may be a different color than mine we still walk we still talk we have jobs we have things that we do we have children we have our life and then we move on we function together as a society but, um, I just don't understand that.